Hi boys and girls, it's Mrs. Straub. I'm gonna do a little bit of a science activity with you today. I wanna show you what I set up here. I made a liquid xylophone. If you have a toy at home um, that's an xylophone, it, it's, it's a little musical instrument and it um, has little white bars on it and you can tap it with a mallet and it makes different sounds. You might have a toy like that at home. We used to have one for sure. Um, and you can make one on your own as well. So what I did was I have six jars. I filled each of them with a different amount of water and then I colored the water, which is really easy to do if you have food coloring. If you don't have food coloring at home, it's fine. You don't need to use it, but it helps for you to be able to see my water in this video. Um, I had red food coloring, so I put red food coloring in this jar where there's a lot of water. I went in rainbow order, so red, orange came next. I didn't have orange food coloring, so I had to mix two colors to make orange, and I'm gonna give you a second to see if you can think about what two colors that was to make orange. If you said red and yellow, you were right. That's what I put in here to make orange. I had yellow food coloring. I had green right here, and I had blue. If I wanted to fill this jar, I didn't want to, I'm gonna keep it empty. If I had wanted to fill it with purple to sort of finish the rainbow, I would have used two colors to mix together as well. Can you think of what those two colors are? If you said blue and red, you were right. Okay, but I kept this empty on purpose. I'm gonna show you why. Um, I am going to tap these jars with a metal spoon. And I want you to um, just listen and pay attention to what you hear. Did you notice something? I'm gonna go this way now. I hope you notice a difference in the sound when I tap each jar. The jars are the same size, but there is a reason that they make a different sound. And think for a second about what that could be by looking. If you think that they make a different sound because of the amount of water that's in each one, you are right. So the jar with the most water makes that sound. The jar with no water makes this sound. So what does that tell us? I can say that the more water there is in a jar, the deeper the sound. The less water, the higher the sound. And sound, what this is called right here is pitch. They make different pitches, high to low. Um, that's one of the words I wanted you to learn today was pitch. A, a pitch has to do with the sounds that we hear and how high or low they are. Now why that happens, let me play it for you again. Why that happens is every time I tap, it sends vibrations or little waves running through each of the jars. This one doesn't have um, any liquid in it, so it's just making, you're just hearing the sound of the metal spoon to the glass jar. But in these jars, you are hearing a sound that changes in pitch because of how much water is in there. When we have more liquid or water, and I tap, there, the vibrations or the little waves in the water move more slowly so the sound is lower. When I hit this jar, the, the, the vibrations in this one move a lot more quickly and we hear a higher sound. So that's why that happens. So this is one way you can make a xylophone at home. And the words I want you to think about are pitch, different sounds, high and low that they make, and vibrations. The little waves that are created um, within the liquid that help us hear the sound the way that we do. All right, I'm gonna try something for you. This is tricky. I did it, I practiced it, but I'm gonna do the best I can. Let's see if I can play Mary Had a Little Lamb with these jars. Hang on. Hold on. Well, that last note was not so great, but I thought that was pretty good. So you can try this at home. See if mom or dad will help you set this up and you can have fun playing with it. And you learned something a little bit about science today. You learned about color mixing, pitch and vibration, 
and maybe you can learn how to play Mary Had a Little Lamb or another song. Um, we're thinking about you, we miss you, uh, and hope that you're having fun doing some learning at home. Bye!